Who are we meeting? Is that Ryan? You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and... It doesn't matter! I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. Here we go again. my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. It's not on you, man. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. It's true, you didn't do much, but what could you have done? How could you have known? You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe. I'm so sorry. Jesus. Why don't we step away from the ledge here? There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. <laughs> You're not alone. In a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12 year old I know. you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something 
You should know about me. And it's going to be easier to show you than to explain it. I guess we're going around telling everyone then. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay. Think of something sad. Like, breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. Thinking of something sad might not be the best course of action, considering what we just went through, but it's probably the most convincing thing. Gabe's laugh. We never made anyone laugh like him. You said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? Is that like a for happy? Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? Happiness? <laughs> I think this is the first time we've encountered a positive emotion. Um, there's no prompts. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> there's chuckling. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the chuckling as I try and figure out what to do. <laughs> The most unsettling thing. <laughs> How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> Shut the fuck up with the laughing, it's so distracting. <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. Oh, I'm, I'm doing this backwards. It's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> right, so he hit a goose. So, a goose. <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, 
they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> Wait, we haven't explained to him anything. How is he okay with this? <laughs> How? So... I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I... I feel what they feel. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe. Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? Amazing detective work there, Ryan. You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Okay, then. Team up. Do the buddy cop thing. You're a loose cannon, Chen, but you get results. <laughs> Hell yeah, making friends by the minute. I think, I hope, this better not backfire. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that 
that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. Look at that chick to the left, not feeling anything. What the fuck does she know? I knew when she issued her condolences towards us that something else was happening. Wow, and that's the end of chapter two. Holy crap. Alex calmed Mac down from his panic attack. 96%. Good. It felt like the game was trying to make that a bit more of a split decision. But it's like, obviously, Mac didn't do it. 66% yeah. of people reminded Eleanor about what happened. Yeah, two thirds. That's, I mean, it's only right. 62% uh, of people didn't take Typhon's money. 0% of people... Uh, Charlotte signed the agreement after Alex didn't visit her. Oh, you can just not not go and then she'll just automatically sign. Interesting. 38% uh, of people didn't, see, didn't sit on the edge of the dock. Oh, I didn't know that was a, a thing. I don't even know what that... Okay. 47% uh, Alex didn't leave the mess for later. Oh, Alex left the mess for later. Oh, what? Did I miss something? I tied it up. I may have cut that out of the video a little bit. Oh, no, I didn't. I, I, I thought I tidied everything up. Son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I specifically went out of my way to clean the fucking apartment. And I missed one thing. So now it's like, ah, oh, nah, she's a messy person. God damn it. Alex put the album uh, on Gabe's memory table. 36%. Uh, tied first with just not leaving anything or putting the photograph. Yeah, the album seemed just a little bit less personal. But it seemed right to put something there. 54% uh, Alex didn't look at the dartboard. Alex made a sad face and a happy face. Ah, oh, I didn't even know. I'm missing out a few things here. 23% um, Alex chose to go by Alexandra in the LARP. Oh, there were multiple. I thought it was just Alexandra or Alto. Alwyn? Alex didn't look in Stephanie's book. Oh, we could have not looked. I would have done that. 70% uh, of people spent a moment thinking about Gabe. Yeah. I mean, it was very cinematic. 40% <laughs> of people admitted she didn't hear Gabe's call. Yeah, because we didn't. <laughs> like, damn, that's f only 40%. 20% <clears throat> of people. Uh, Ryan was able to forgive himself. Wow. 67% of people. Alex offered Ryan Gabe's forgiveness. 13%. Ryan accepted Alex's forgiveness. Oh, wow, okay. Interesting. I feel like... Saying that you need to forgive yourself if you blame yourself for something, that seems like the most realistic type of choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you offer Gabe's forgiveness? That's like, at the end of the day, you're talking on someone else's behalf. I'm surprised it's only 20%. 25%? Ryan, Ryan and Alex shook hands at the ravine. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, 62%. Uh, Steph claimed the title of foosball champion. Ah, oh, dude. We lost by one goal at the very end. I'm so upset. I try so hard at these minigames and I lose. I'm 0 for 2 at the moment. 57%. Uh, Steph made Storm Rither the LARP boss. Okay. 60%. Uh, Alex didn't help the bird watcher. Wait. We could have... Ah, oh, there's little side missions. Alright, well... Not the biggest loss. <laughs> uh, Alex didn't help the sad dude. 
Alex helped the sad dude find his dog? Oh, fuck him. <laughs> 96% Alex calmed down Mac from his panic attack. Obviously. Oh, this is it. Okay. Well, that, that's it. So I think this might be a, a shorter video just to end the chapter, considering we're going into the third and final chapter. Uh, so this should get very interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon.